Hello, I'm Emma Green, I'm the Tennis Elbow Queen, and the question I'm gonna to answer today is, one that I really like answering actually, um, what does this injury look like in the elbow? Is it frayed tendons? Such a good question. Well, there's no bad questions, but anyway. I really like answering this one um, because it. I really want you to imagine this. this. I'm gonna get kind of quite descriptive with it, and I really want you to imagine this. So basically, a, a tendon is a connective tissue. So when we're talking about tennis elbow, the specific tendon that we're talking about is the tendon that attaches the forearm muscles to the bone on the outside of the elbow, the lateral epicondyle. The tendon is actually quite small. You know, it's like a sort of a centimeter long. It's, it's not that long at all. It's not that big. Obviously it causes big problems when you have tennis elbow, but this connective tissue, this tendon, I want you to imagine it like a rope. That's basically what a normal tendon should look like, um, does look like. If you were to do an ultrasound scan or an MRI scan of a normal tendon, all the fibers are very tightly packed together, very uniform, all in the same direction. Imagine like a rope, you know, like the fibers of a rope. That's what a normal tendon should look like. Now, when we start to get tennis elbow or, um, or golfer's elbow, you know, same pathology, just a different tendon. Basically what happens is, imagine getting uh, someone getting hold of that rope and then twisting it the wrong way. So the fibers will splay apart. The cells can get in there that shouldn't be there. This is a degeneration of the tendon and it's a degeneration that is nothing to do with age. It's not kind of like, oh, I'm falling apart, I'm getting old. It's nothing to do with that. It's to do with overuse. So imagine that rope unraveling. That's what's happening to the tendon when you have tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. Now, there are specific treatments that can resolve the symptoms, how it hurts, get rid of the, the pain. Think of like a painkiller. If you were to take a pain medication that stopped you from feeling the pain, you know it's stopping you from feeling the pain, but you know it's not healing the issue. So a lot of kind of the old school treatments would do that. They were very focused on the symptoms, how can we resolve the symptoms? And, and yes, obviously that is important. We want, to, we want you to feel better. We don't need to be feeling the pain. But these treatments that focus specifically on symptoms and resolving the symptoms do not heal the tendon. And we know this from, from the medical research. We know that you can feel better from a tennis elbow. If you, you know, if you, if you take a strong enough painkiller, you're not gonna feel the pain, but the tendon's still gonna be injured. And this is what we were starting to find in the medical research. The sort of old school treatments, think any kind of electrotherapy, think cortisone shots, think massage, think, you know, and any, any of those things they will or they can help you feel better but they don't heal the tendon the only thing that that heals the tendon and reverses that degeneration it's called tightening up well wringing out the tendon it tightens that tendon back up so imagine somebody's unraveled that rope they're going to tighten it back up the only thing that will do that is eccentric loading so if you're not doing eccentric loading you are not healing the tendon doesn't matter what it is. You can tell me anything. You can say, yeah, but shockwave, Emma, that doesn't, doesn't heal the tendon. You can reduce symptoms, but unless you're eccentric lo eccentrically loading, you are not healing the tendon. So I know I kind of went off a little bit out of a tangent there. So, so basically the tendon is degenerated. The fibers are splayed apart. We need to get those back together. That's what uh, a tennis elbow is, and that's how you resolve it. I hope that's helped. If it sparked any other questions, please leave them um, in the chat below. If you are interested in healing your tennis elbow once and for all, reach out, watch my webinar, buy my book, you know, come and join my group coaching program, whatever is the best way for you to learn to do these strategies, reach out, let's heal your tennis elbow. And then you will actually heal the tendon, which is like, woohoo. Um, I hope that helps and I will see you on the next video. Take care, bye.